Hi, good morning everyone. Um, so I'm a native of Northern Ireland, um, originally from St. Field, and I always love coming back up here, uh, whether it's to see family or do events or eat potato bread. But um, I'm just so excited to be here and, and to be in the Titanic building. I've been dying to come here since it opened and it's it just even more impressive than I imagined. So yeah, so I run Global Sales Services for Facebook, which isn't a very intuitive name for what I do, but basically I work behind the scenes to make sure that anybody that's spending money on Facebook around the world through advertising, that they get supported either by our sales teams or by people hidden away in, in, in some of our core functionality. So at Facebook, we really believe that a communication from a business to somebody on Facebook can be just as meaningful as a communication from your mum or from your friend or from your cousin. And so today, I'm going to tell you a bit about why Facebook matters for businesses, small and large alike, and then how you can set yourself up for success on Facebook, whether you're already using Facebook or not as part of your business. So, um, sorry, some of the formatting's a bit funny here, but um, there's already over 16 million businesses that have a page on Facebook around the world. And of those, over one million are advertising to make sure their message gets out to everybody that they want it to get out to. There's, in the UK alone, which includes Northern Ireland, there's almost 300 million connections between people and a business. And we see that this number is growing every day. Six out of every 10 people on Facebook in the UK are connected to some kind of local business. And what we're seeing is that people really want to hear from businesses within their community, whether that's somebody that's on the same street as where they live, or whether it's the shop that they visited once when they were going to Dublin for the day. But people really feel an affiliation to the businesses that they interact with. And we just have to think of some of the adverts that we've loved from our time, whether it's a Coca-Cola Christmas advert, or whether it's a Levi's jeans adverts in the 80s, to know that Messages from businesses don't have to be intrusive. They can actually engage in our lives and be really meaningful to us. So there's 33 million people in the UK who log on to Facebook every day. And there's 3.2 million people in Ireland that log on to Facebook every month. But we don't think that's the number that's most important, nor is the 1.1 billion number that is often reported in the press about our user base, because that's just a big number. What we think really matters to you is probably the 680,000 people that log on once a month to Facebook in Northern Ireland, or maybe it's the 12,000 people in Northern Ireland who said that they've got engaged in the past year by announcing it on Facebook. Or maybe it's the 34,000 local businesses that have said they're a local business on Facebook and that that's the people that you want to talk to and that's the people you want to connect to. In fact, these numbers seem big. They're pretty much bigger than you're going to get in any other medium. So there was more people log on to Facebook in a day than watched the entire closing or opening ceremonies of the Olympics. 70% more people log on to Facebook in a day than go on to YouTube in a day. And every day, more people log on to Facebook than read all of the papers published in the UK combined. So your customers are on Facebook. And they're not just there doing nothing, they're highly engaged. These people are spending a lot of time on Facebook, and it's easy to see why. When I want to find out what my friend's doing, if my friend has just got engaged or is pregnant, I don't go and search for that. I go to Facebook and see what the updates are. If I want to know which cartoons I should encourage my kid to watch, I don't go to a portal. I go to Facebook where my friends and family are and ask, is it okay to let my son watch Peppa Pig for six hours a day? And if I want to know what's good in YouTube, I don't tend to go to YouTube. I go to see what people have shared on Facebook or on Twitter. And so it's no wonder that people are hugely engaged whenever they're on Facebook because they're finding out from their friends and family, the people that they care about, they're finding out about the stuff that matters to them. On average in a day, a user will refresh their news feed six, uh, sorry, 10 times a day. And every time they're refreshing the news feed, they're basically saying, what's happening in my world? And you as a business have this amazing opportunity to be part of that by telling your customers what's happening in their world. 
And you heard Dave talk earlier about the mobile trend. More than 51% of people that have a mobile phone are using it to access the internet. But I don't think that this is a trend. It's like saying TV is a trend. That trend is just life as we know it. And mobile is the same. It was in December 2011 that more internet-ready mobile units shipped than desktop or laptop units shipped. What that means is it was back in December 2011 where the mobile internet took over from the normal internet. And we're seeing behavior catch up to that. But this isn't a trend. This is just life as we know it now. And so, whenever you're on Facebook, you need to advertise to get in the news feed, because that's where people spend all their time. Now, you can get on the news feed, which is the main home screen that you, you look at whenever you log on to Facebook without advertising, but you only get to reach the customers you already have. So if you're just starting up, you're not going to have a lot of people that like your Facebook page other than you, and maybe your employees or your friends and family. So we recommend that you use advertising to grow your fan base so that you get more customers liking your page so that you can interact with them. And also to advertise in order to get prominence in the news feed to make sure that whenever people are refreshing all the time that your message is always one that they're going to get to see. But before you start spending money, it's really important that you think about what you want to get out of Facebook. Right? Do you want to do it to drive online sales? Or do you want to drive foot traffic into your store? Or is it that you have an app that you want to promote? Or is it just that you want to build awareness of the service that you provide? And if so, you can do that on Facebook, but be really clear about what your intentions are. So now I'm going to give you some practical tips for how to have success on Facebook. I'm going to take you through the five steps that it's going to take in order for you to grow your business through Facebook. We're going to start with talking about your page and how to build a page and put good content on it. We're going to talk about making sure you've identified who your audience is, then how to make sure that you give and generate creative content that will engage your customers, then advertise to boost awareness and boost your message, and then finally how to measure to make sure that the work you're doing and the money you're spending and the effort you're putting in is really paying off. So first of all, use your page to bring people to your business. Right. Roe Valley up in Lima Valley did an amazing job of this with their page. Within a six month period, they managed to grow their fan base from 5,000 to nearly 12,000 through running really effective campaigns and also putting up really good engaging content. Whenever you set up your page, make sure you put the basics on there. So go to the about section and fill it out. That means put your opening hours, put your website link, put your phone number, put um, categories that, make sh that um, your business is about. Put a one or two liner that says, this is what my business is. And if you're struggling with that, a really good way to find out what you should put is to ask your current customers. Ask them how they would describe your business in one word. Ask them which of the categories most resonates with them, that that's what your business is about. But whenever you fill out the About section on a Facebook page, that's how people are going to find you that aren't already connected with you. Then you need to identify, once you've built the basics of your page, you need to identify what customers you want to attract. As I mentioned earlier, you know, is it the 12,000 people that have just got engaged? Maybe you're a photographer business that really relies on the wedding business. But maybe, like Total Hockey, you're looking at um, at a business that is about sports enthusiasts and you want to target sports enthusiasts. But it's really important that you've decided in advance who it is you want to reach, who is your target customer base, and what you want to say to them. Because once you've identified that, everything you put on your page should be about connecting with them. Right? You should make the posts that you put up as interesting to your customers or your potential customers as possible. One of the things we find is that people love to hear about other customers. Right? So if I like a page, I love to hear from other people who like the same page. I like to see photographs of ordinary people wearing the clothes from the clothes shop I like. I like to see updates from my local hairdressers about what new products they've got in and who's using them already. And so make it as engaging and as, um, as, as part of your customer's um, experience as possible. 
So if you think about your customers are looking at their news feed, you should try to make your posts as much like posts from their friends or family as possible. So photographs, topical comments, questions, asking them what's going on today, or asking them an opinion about something that you're thinking of trying. Pictures of products work really well if you're um, selling a physical product. Or if you're selling a service, make sure you get testimonials from your own customers talking about some of the things that you've done. And then, if you do want to get your ad in the, or your message in the news feed, I say you really need to spend money to make sure that it's there, but you can get posts organically. But whenever you're in the news feed, we have pretty strict policies that apply. So things like you can't have a picture that has a lot of text overlay. You have to make sure the pixel size is correct. So before you try anything in newsfeed, make sure that you've gone and read our policies and checked. But the biggest one is the text overlay, which catches a lot of people. So you can't splash you know, special offer all over your photograph that you're posting. And also try different things. Try at least five or six custom creatives to see which ones your fans like best. And I'll talk a little bit about that at the end. So as I said, newsfeed is where most people spend their time. It's the home page that you scroll down. You can run ads on Facebook on the desktop that are on the right-hand side. Um, and that tends to work really well if you've got a website that you want to promote rather than your page or, or, your, um, or, or an app. Um, but the newsfeed is eight times more, in, um, gets more clicks, right? Gets more clicks, through more engagement. So we do recommend that you try to get into newsfeed. And it's not any more expensive. And you can get into newsfeed organically without spending money. You're just not guaranteed as many impressions. And you can only reach the people who are already your fans. And then the other thing about newsfeed is it's the same, whether it's on your desktop or your mobile or a tablet. So it's a really easy way to get your message out without really having to understand too much about how your customers are accessing your page or your business or your website. So it's a really easy and quick way to make sure you're reaching all of your target audience. And finally, if I can use this button, Whenever you're advertising and you're spending money, again, make sure that you're targeting the right people. You don't have to target every single ad to everybody that's friends with your, or that likes your page, or everybody that you want to. You can target different ads to different people. And a great example I love is um, Direct Cosmetics in the UK. They run ads at Christmas time targeted just to men to buy their wives their Christmas presents. And then they have totally separate ads that they run to women who are actually using their products. And thinking about not just who's using your product or service, but who's paying for it or who's buying it or who's a decision maker is really important here. And it will just make sure that you get the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to ads. And finally, use your page insights to see if what you're doing is working for you. If you're an admin of a page, you'll see a little link to the page insights on your page. Go in and look at that. See not just what posts were good and which posts weren't, but what times of the day work best for you. You can spend hours and hours being an admin for a Facebook page, but you can be pretty clever about how to make sure you're using your time most effectively. So really go into Page Insights and figure out what works for your business. We recommend when you're starting to have a, a calendar of how often you're going to post and what you want to post about. And then you start to adjust that as you actually um, look at the insights and look to see what reaction your work has had to your customer base. And then do the same with the ads. If you are spending money on Facebook, make sure that you use the ads insights tool to make sure that your ads are doing what you thought they would do. Make sure that you're looking to see which pictures work best. What was the title that worked best? What are the targeting that worked best for you? And then the more you refine it, the less money you'll have to spend in order to get the same results. So that's it. I just wanted to give you a really quick overview about why Facebook matters and then a really quick um, how to do it well. So I hope that's helped and it's been an absolute pleasure to be here. So thank you.